Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 1, Unit 2.5 Notes, Day 2. Today we're going to be talking about calculating the slope of a line from a given graph. Before we get started though, let's start with a review. It says to calculate the slope of the line by using the slope formula and use it to describe the line. Now remember that the slope formula, we always write our subtractions right away. And it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So anytime you're doing this, you should just automatically draw the line and the two subtractions. Boom. Do it. You're going to have to do it for all of them anyways. Okay? Now, we start with the second set. And we do the y's first. So we got 6 minus 4. And then we got 0, negative 4. Okay? Now, if you have trouble doing this in your head, you need to use a calculator. Okay? But on the top, 6 minus 4 is 2. And on the bottom, 0 minus a negative, well, that's click, click, that's plus. 0 plus 4 is 4. And then when we reduce that fraction, what do we get? you should have one half, okay? And that's because you divide both the top and the bottom by two, okay? So the next thing describing the line, is it rising, is it falling? Is it, uh, what are other, zero, horizontal, vertical, undefined? Which one is it? Well, it's a positive slope, so if it's positive, that means our line is rising. Okay. All right, let's do the next one. We got negative 1 and 3. And then 10 and 5. So when we do all that, negative 1 minus 3 is uh, negative 4. And then 10 minus 5 is 5. And guess what? We can't reduce that, so that's our answer. So what is it? Is it rising, falling, vertical, horizontal? Which one is it? Well, it's a negative slope, so if it's a negative slope, that means it's falling. Okay? And for number three, why don't you guys pause the video and give that one a try all on your own. Good luck. Okay, and there's all the work. Now remember, my slope is not 6 over 0. Okay, what you can't divide by 0 because you always want to simplify your answer. Okay, it can't be 0 or undefined at the same time. So you can't even say, well, it equals 0 because when I divide, I get an error. It's like, uh, no, you get an error because it's undefined. Okay, and all undefined lines are vertical. Okay. All right, let's move on. Now, slopes give us direction from one point to another point, and that's always from left to right. Okay. The y2 and the y1, that's the top part. Okay. That is our vertical change. Okay. That tells us to go up or down. Okay. And what happens is if it's positive, we rise, or if it's negative, we fall, okay? So if it's positive, it tells us that we need to go up. If it's negative, if it's falling, it tells us to go down, okay? And then the x2 and the x1, that's our horizontal change. Okay, and that's what we call the run. And the run always tells us to go right. Okay, and remember, anytime we're looking at stuff like this, we always look at the graph from left to right. Okay, just like you're reading a book. Okay, so 
Oh my gosh, those numbers look crazy. Hold on real quick. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So what we're going to be doing here is we need to be graphing these points. Okay, so our first one is 4, 0. So we go to 4, go to 0, I take my point. My next one is 2, negative 3. There we go. I've got my point. So after we've got our point, the next thing we need to do is draw our line. Okay? So get it all nice, lined, and straight up. There we go. And now there's a way to do this to find out what our slope is without using these points. Okay? Without doing the equation. We're going to do it from the graph. Okay? And so what we always do is start, hold on, let me get this. We're going to start at the very, very left, okay? And I'm going to go to my first point. Like, okay, here's my first point. Do I need to go up or down to the next one? I need to go up. And I need to go up three and to the right two. That tells me the direction of how to go. That means that my slope is 3 over 2, okay? Because it's the vertical change, which is the 3, because I'm going up. And then my run to the right is 2. Let's do another example, okay? So negative 1, negative 1 is our first point. And then positive 4, negative 4. So after I draw the two points, I'm going to draw my graph. And remember that the graph goes the entire length, okay? And that you have the arrows, no baby lines, okay? So I'm going to start to the far left, my first point. Now to get to my second point, I have to go down. And I went down three. Okay, so that's negative 3, and then I go to the right, 5 spaces, okay? So my graph is, or my slope is a negative 3 over 5, because I go down 3 over 5. Okay, is that line falling? Yeah, it is. Okay, so if it's falling, the slope has to be negative. Okay, number 6. We got negative 3 positive 1, and then positive 3, negative 1. You have to be very careful with your lines, okay, with your points and your lines. Now, just by looking at this, you guys should be like, well, Mr. Grace, my line's going down. That means it's going to be a negative slope. That is 100% correct. This will be a negative slope, okay? So you start all the way to the left. To get to my next point, I have to go down two. And then how many to the right? And you just count the lines to so get to the next one. And that is six. So my slope is negative two over six. Oh, hold on. What can I do to that? If you can reduce it, you need to reduce it. Okay. So negative 2 over 6 is the same thing as negative 1 third. Okay? All right. We got to do a couple more, and I got to change my numbers so we can actually read them. Okay. Why don't you guys turn number 7 on your own and see how you do. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and there you go. You're going down 6 over 1, which reduces to negative 6. All right, two more. Let's do these real quick. So we got 3, so positive 3. There it is, negative 4. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so we are at 3, negative 4, which is right there. And 0, negative 4. And when I draw this right here, 
going straight across. Oh, I don't want it to be green. There we go. Let me draw that going straight across. Oh, there we go. Um, do we have a rise? Does it go up at all? No, it's it's zero. And then to the right we go three. But zero over three is the same thing as zero. Okay? And you can tell just by looking at it, it's a horizontal line, guys. If it's a horizontal line, you should know right away that the slope is zero. Okay? Alright. So we got that should be negative three, negative four. That should be negative. And then a uh, negative three. Oh, let's get that away. I'm working right now. Negative three, negative one. Okay. So draw your line. Make sure it goes the entire length. Don't make it a baby graph. Okay. That's a vertical line, guys. Right away, vertical line. You should be like, dude, that's undefined slope. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and flip it over. We're going to do a couple of these together. And then you're going to do the rest on your own. All right. So what you need to do is calculate the slope of each line. Use the graph. Do not use the slope formula. So our all of our lines were done for us. Okay. So all we have to do is we start all the way on the left. Okay. Our first point. Do I have to go up or down? Well, I have to go up, and I go up one, two, three, four. I had to go up four to the right two, okay? So four over two, because it's your rise. That's what this was, your rise over your run, okay? And when you reduce that, you get two, okay? Let's look at 11. You start all the way on the left. I had to go up one and to the right, three, okay? So my rise is one, my run is three. All right, number 12. Start all the way on the left. This time I had to fall. Be very careful when you count because we had to go over five, or down five, and over six, okay? So the slope, Negative 5 over 6, that's your fall over your run. Okay, can you reduce negative 5 over 6? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Alright, why don't you guys try 13, 14, and 15, all three of those on your own. Okay, go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so for 13 and 14, both of those were negative lines because from left to right, they're falling. So you should get negative 6 over 5 and negative 7 over 4. Now, number 15 in class, a lot of people said, like, oh, yeah, it's 4 over 4. But then they forgot the next step, which is reducing your answer. Okay? All right, so you guys need to do these six right now okay now look at 20 and 21 but those are special cases you should know right away what those are okay so try these on your own pause the video and good luck okay and there are your answers now, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Otherwise, that's going to be it for Algebra 1, Unit 2.5 Notes, Day 2. Thanks for watching.